I'm 41, middle kid, never been married. Uh, now I'm like two and a half weeks away from being the creepy uncle who nobody knows if he's gay or not. <laughs> Thanksgiving is coming up. The last, ever since my younger brother, I, this is gonna be my third year sitting at the fucking card table with the kids because apparently no rule until I make one, that's what I have to eat. <laughs> if I hear this shit, Jason, if you wait till you can afford to have kids, you'll never have them. Quite possibly. What the fuck? Where did that become a bad I, fucking idea? Yeah, yeah, I might not, because they're fucking expensive. The shit they eat like every day, right? I mean, <laughs> so I go back to meet my new nephew, and I'm leaning in to pick him up, and I hear my sister-in-law behind me go, Did you disinfect? <laughs> What did you just say? Because apparently now in America to hold a baby, what you have to do is you have to jump in a 50-gallon vat of Purell. <laughs> Can I hold a baby now? <laughs> That's why kids are dying of penis, man. Stop that shit. We weaken their little immune system to the point that's fucking penis and fucking gluten. What the fuck is gluten, man? It's wheat. It's fucking wheat. It's wheat. If wheat is your problem, you're fucked. You're fucked. You're not ready for the zombie apocalypse. You're not ready. It makes me gassy. Well, you better put your big girl panties on and get over it, because they're coming over the hill! <laughs> and did you know you're not supposed to throw babies anymore? Did you know that shit? What? Yes! <laughs> My other four nieces, I've got five nieces and nephews. I'm the godparent, I was thinking about this, I'm the godparent for all five of my nieces and nephews, plus two other couples that have a kid each. I'm the godparent for seven kids. Think about that the other day. I'm the backup plan. We haven't thought this shit out at all. <laughs> <laughs> but my other four nieces and nephews, at one point when they were a baby, I would pick them up and I would throw them at my brother. It was a test. If he loved them, he'd catch them. <laughs> plus, bonus, it's my other four nieces and nephews have necks like bucks and rock. Like, what the fuck are you fucking doing? <laughs> now we've inadvertently created this entire generation of these bottle headed little pussies running <laughs> around. <laughs> terrified of cashews, little thugs, fucking red ink on their paper, and fucking cyber bullies. <laughs> I remember when bullies were real. What the fuck are you talking about? Cyber bullies? Fucking, you want to tell them to face? They're picking on me on Facebook. You want to tell them to fuck off? Log off. Log off. You're nine. Why the fuck are you on there? There's predators out there. Get the fuck off. You're nine. Problem solved. Don't be on there. No more cyber bullies. Fucking get off it. Why are you on it? I don't get it. Like the. And I don't know about you, but I grew up in the 70s and the 80s, and technically the moms that smoked and drank when they were pregnant gave birth to some of the toughest and most naturally athletic kids I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> we never had a cars, seats, and shit. We had a truck tire in the back of the truck. <laughs> That was designed for my older brother to survive, like he's a Kennedy or some shit. <laughs> and I can prove it, I can prove it. For eons, eons, women, tough as hell. Whether it was in the cradle of civilization, whether it was in settling the Great Plains, women pregnant, sometimes crossing the Great Plains, they were pregnant, they just had to stand and go, <laughs> could pick the kid up out of the dirt and spit on it, it was fine. <laughs> now these little pussies are playing Angry Birds on their iPad. 